So most businesses might want to calculate the distance that they have to travel when providing a service, then pass on the cost to the client. I have created an example of a non-mowing business that really wants to know the square meters that a person wants mowed and then the distance that they have to travel from their office and then charge the mowing charge and the distance to the person. This is the example that we're going to make use of. But before we go into that, if you are new to this channel, uh, kindly click subscribe so that you get more content for me as I add more videos. And also, uh, if you do not have a JotForm account, you can also get a free JotForm account that you make use of. And even if you want to have a paid one, you can do that by just clicking the links that I've put in the description. And I also value feedback if you want to comment on the way I'm presenting or any other things I can improve on, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Let's jump right into it. In this case, I have a form which is the name, email which is collected and also the location which is detected. Uh, but what we want to focus on is the addition of the driving distance. How do we calculate the driving distance? It's quite easy. There's a specific widget which has been created by JotForm to cater for this specifically. So if we go to widgets, all we have to do is to write driving distance. There you go. So here, if I input the square meters, the cost of mowing at 0 0.5 cents, 0 0.5 dollars a square meter will be calculated. So if I say one or two, it will then multiply by 0 0.5 and we get the cost here. But we now want to add uh, the driving distance cost there. So we simply drag this down here under and we now have the driving distance calculator. So it's based on geolocation, which is based on Google Maps. So what we do, uh, make sure that you do have your Google key, uh, API key near. When we are making the settings for this, click that. And original locations, for, let's say for me as an example, I'm just going to put this address as the original location. Then I can choose the distance units. Then I can have it auto calculate. Uh, it automatically calculates when someone inputs the information. Uh, then after that, we go on to the API key, which I'm just going to paste there. Uh, and then update the widget. Now it's able to calculate the distance for us. But we want to take that result and then multiply it by the cost of traveling. Uh, then add it with the cost of mowing. So how do we do the calculation? We make use of the form uh, calculation widget. What we do here is uh, we, we label it. So we have to calculate by adding a field. So we have the driving distance calculator result. We multiply that by 0 0.13. So you have to be careful while using the form calculation widget. Why? If anything appears in this color, then it's a number. If uh, it appears in this brownish color, then it's a string, which means in that format, you won't be able to make any calculations. It always has to be in this color as shown on the legend. Once you do that, you save. So we know that whenever this driving distance calculator calculates the distance, the cost of driving will appear here. Then at the end, we want to put the total cost. So the total cost of the job uh, is calculated by simply adding uh, the mowing cost plus the driving uh, cost. Once we have that, then we have the total cost of the job and then we can add uh, a payment method for the person to pay before uh, we visit them. So what we do there is we save. So we now want to test this. Let's go to our preview. So we're now in the view which the client will see the form. So we just put uh, dummy information there. Uh, let's say this is where the customer is. So 965 Avenue and the, that's where the drop pin is. So we now have the location, but this is not the location for our calculation. So they probably they want 50 square meters uh, mode. And now we want them to also enter the same 96 uh, 5 Avenue.
So automatically the driving distance calculator will calculate the distance that is to be traveled. In this case, it's six kilometers uh, and that would be 78 cents. Now, uh, that means 78 cents plus 25, we get $25.78. So that's how you make use of uh, the drive and distance calculator to calculate the distance and also that's how you calculate the cost of uh, the driving distance. Play around with the information and create the best model that works for you. Thank you.